What's up, y'all? I got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into drama alert. Uh, Jano versus Nunu. Corey, girlfriend, Shays Carmen. Let's get into it. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said, I said what I said. said. Move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Let me see Monday. Ran, I made quesadillas and chipotle's honey vinegar red at home, and it was the truth. I'm trying to tell you, just eat it at the crib. I'm telling you. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to. I ain't gonna lie. Today at the gym, I had some um sweet potato fries. They was busting. But that's besides the point. A messy Monday, as you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. Who you doing? Oh, I need that Nike. That Nike thing right there. I need now, before I start, what I need you to do is to go hit that like button. I need 10,000 likes. If we can easily get 200K, 300K views, stop and hit that like button for me, please. And thank you. And then go in the comments and say, hey, friend, can we get at least 2,000 comments? And 10,000 likes, let's do that. For me, I come on here every Monday. All I ask y'all to do is just engage with me. Period. Oh, and what did you do, friend? You made it to another week. Like I always say, shout out to you for making it through another week. We've had so much going on from this presidential debate, from attempted assassinations, to just everything from illnesses. Just everything, bro. Sickness to depression. Whatever is going on in 2024, is going on, but my friend, you made it. And I'm so proud of you for sticking it out, okay? I love you so much. Thank y'all for coming here every Monday to watch me and act up with me and kiki and gossip. And if it ain't about me, let's kiki, period. I love y'all, okay? Now, let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Beyonce. Hey, bitch. Okay. Clarence had that on too. Blaze, where you at? Where I get this from? Beyonce, I see you a barb. That's what's up, bitch. Shout out to you for being the first to comment on my Twitter post. You have my post notifications on, and I greatly appreciate that. It lets me know that you want to see what the hell I got to talk about and what the fuck I got to say. So thank you, child. Y'all go over, like his post, retweet his post, follow him because he is a barb. Um, you know, connect with each other, whatever the case may be, because we are a zone. Now I gotta take this hair does, down. We stick together. Yeah, it's Nike, but it's a different br like the brands are in Nike. You just gotta find the right one. Um, all right, you guys, I love you. Thank you, Deontay, and bitch, you is now my friend. Hey, bitch. All right, let's go on again to y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying. In some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Lil Reef. Now, when they posted this, I said, oh my God, they done got him. I thought they got him. I said, that I know the Grim Reaper ain't dead. He be the one killing everybody. No tea, no shade. But I was like, what's going on? Girl, come to find out. Her on the curb is they said the Chicago rapper was arrested on Sunday for allegedly raping in Los Angeles. Oh, Lord. Now, don't get me the line. I, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with this. is what the streets are saying, so don't shoot the message. It's like, it's Nike Pro Hyper Warm Hood. Thank you. Sure. Literally. Now, what made it a key key is Boosted was... <laughs> Boosted was a reporter. Hey, I'm at the hotel downtown. They just took Lil Reese to jail. He came out handcuffed. They had all his bags. So if anybody, Lil Reese people, y'all need to check on him. They just took him to jail. Can you send me that particular one? I don't see that. Uh, some dude came down, say some woman say lied on him or some shit. So. Now, how the hell Boosie get there? I don't know. Boosie just be everywhere. Boosie be on every type of rendezvous and in the right spot at the right time to get the right information. Now, Boosie know he messy. Because Boosie... <laughs> 
ain't nobody know shit if you wouldn't have said nothing. But for you to come out <laughs> and tell that man, T, Boosie, you missed the girl. And it got any people, any Re Lil Reese people, the Grim Reaper people, they just took them to jail downtown LA and put them in a car. Y'all need to tap in with y'all people. Now, Boosie. Oh, he in there with, uh, with, uh, Bloofers. I know people love you, and you know that everybody uncle, whatever the case may be, but you wrong for that. You said go check on the ground. <laughs> you said the Grim Reaper family go check on your Grim Reaper. When really they need to be go checking on that girl. Because allegedly now, if they... So y'all keep saying it's a Nike ski mask, right? Y'all keep saying that. Let me make sure. So y'all trying to tell me that it is and i know y'all like why you want that one because that's what the fuck i want i like it that's why i like it he did go out to eat whatever the case may be and she went back up to his room this right here she is not obligated to Give that man is this any right type here? of cool, cool. She ain't got to do that. Now, you got some folks on the side saying, well, she should have went up to the room. Okay, the fuck? You went on a date. You can go to the room. And yeah, yeah. you might have had okay. your intentions that you did want to fuck. But then when you get in the room, you might change it. Like, oh, the room dirty. His balls a little musty. I don't think I want to do this no more. So when somebody say no, no means no. I don't, I don't think that's what that is. She promised you sex when you got to the room. I don't give a fuck. If y'all was kissing and then all of a sudden now she say no, no means no. So they said the girl allegedly ran down, down the steps and I was woo, backwards. Woo, girl, it is what it is, child. I don't know. These men just be so horny. Go jack your little penis and go to bed. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all just you want to throw yourself on people that little weak ass five minute hump and pump dick. Don't nobody want that all the time. Oh God, at, at, at all. Ain't this the same man that shit it or pissed on himself when them people beat him up? I don't want to have sex with him either. But you know, I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. What? That can't hush, because, child, I love Chicago, and I want to be able to step foot in Chicago, and I know what the Grand Reaper is capable of. So I'm going to just. You done already said too much, though. So. Keep this real cute and cordial, and, honey, just know, no, me, no. <laughs> And it is what it is. If it ain't about me, everybody don't want y'all little pee pee. Next cat. Next for the sugar honey ice tea, we have Bad Betty. Now, child, I, I, I want to say what I want to say. Because y'all know I can get real down and real dirty. But because this is a sensitive topic and a lot of women go through this, I'm going to tread lightly. So, Bad Baby recently posted that, you know, her and her man had a little altercation. And, you know, some things happened. I'm not going to show the picture because we saw it last week eyes was messed up you know it was really graphic and a lot of people were actually on her side you had some people talking shit whatever the case may be after she told on the man she posted that now remember that's when everybody started flipping the script like oh girl okay you going bad because when you can say i love that man more than i love myself then girl we already know Especially when you got a child involved. No, you need to love your child and then love yourself. And before all that, love God. And you can't even love God and your child if you don't even love yourself. Because you already put the man before you put him before that man out. <laughs> so, when we got there, we already knew what the fuck was going on. And then when you start making up excuses like, oh, well, this doesn't usually happen to this extreme. I don't give a fuck. You already said it happened. So guess what? It's going to keep escalating. And now that you showed him he can get away with doing it like this, now he's definitely going to do it. Y'all, anytime you go back and a man done put his hands on you, he knows he can do it again. He knows for a fact he can do it again. Okay? So, you know, if you have a chance to leave, I say leave. I just... Especially if you ain't putting your hands on a nigga, a nigga just haul ass and just beat you up. No. Hell no. And the fact that you came and you bought it public thinking it was gonna scare him to get his act together, you low key made it worse because now he's like, oh, you wanna take that shit to the public? I'll fuck you up even more if you do that bullshit again. Girl, you better protect yourself. That's what you need to do. And protecting yourself is getting away. But what has happened? These dudes these days, they sensitive as hell. 
sensitive. Is you overlooked and you forgave him for the. Do I remember the girl petty levels? No, I don't know who that is. Little minor to you, minor issues. So now where it escalated, allowed a baby to form. Now you're stuck because you have that baby, you have that bond, and you have that connection that you think you have. So now it's harder for you to get away when you should have got away that first time. So I know people gonna be like, well, so you don't understand, you've never been in a domestic violence relationship. I hate when people say that I've never been in one because I'm not gonna allow nobody to put their hands on me one time. Yeah, uh, oh shit, how old am I? I'm about to be 35. Baby, I went through it in my 20s. Like, you don't love me if you don't put your hands on me. You hitting me, da da da. And then after she was doing it to me, I started doing doing it to people that, you know, I started getting into a relationship with. Um, and that's that effect that it has. So it'll never happen again. But a man, oh, and I know, cause, cause see, I was talking about with women. See, we can fight each other. With a man, oh, it's a no, it's a zero tolerance zone. You put your hands on me, you will meet the Glocky. Okay? May not even be that day. If I if I'm in a situation where I know I gotta play my cards right, and I ain't got my, you know what I'm saying? I ain't right beside it. Something can happen to where, you know, whatever. But nigga, you got about 24 hours. In the process of me smoking a cigarette and thinking about waiting to exhale, something is going to be on your ass, all right? Whether that be hot water, grease, my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Niggas love to have sex and get head after, after you know what I'm saying, they've been hit. I mean, after they hit a woman. Love to do that. Oh, bet. Can't wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, nah, y'all gotta stop and stop. Because when you allow to learn one to fight time, back, it's gonna be another time. It's gonna be a third time, and then before you know it, you're stuck because you love that person. You think you hush so. And then I kept reading. It said, and, and making this post, there was no point in attacking him. So it's like you're you want to protect him and his image, but did he protect you? Look at your face. He didn't give a fuck about your face. He didn't give a fuck about you and that baby, but all oh, women I, love protecting a nigga image, don't they? It wasn't to this extreme ever. Oh, I um, this wasn't to attack him. Everything's about him, 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 him. That's how we knew you were going bad. And then this person said, if you cared, you would leave that man because he'll abuse you in front of her. And that's when bad baby said, well, who said I'm going bad? And then guess the fuck what? I'ma tell him I can't be without you. Uh uh. Domestic violence serious. You go out and you give that crop for help. And then when you get that crop for help and people are standing behind you, people are loving you, people are there for you, you go back. That's why cops don't come running and, and taking them in the jail and leaving them in there until it's too late. Leave at the beginning, ladies. Leave at the beginning. I can't, you know, it It burns my soul to even, like, have that in my vision of a nigga, like, bitch, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, that burns me. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what bothers me is they feel, and I'm not talking about all men, but a lot of them, it's like, they want you to feel, feel powerless, like, like you ain't shit, like you can't protect yourself. I, huh? You think because I can't fight you, meaning put my hands on you, you putting your hands on me, you don't think I have other ways to get you down? You know what I'm saying? Gladly, too, because ain't no way, I just, I can't. And, and don't get me wrong, I haven't been in this. Yes, I have. Uh, cousins, though, when I was younger. That's how I learned. Looking at a nigga after he done put his hands on you. Woo, child. So, ah, uh, you got to go. 
I'm gonna have to get you down, boy. Uh, I ain't even gotta get you up out of here, but boy, you gonna feel me. You gonna feel me. And you go out and you in public like this man didn't just do this to you. Have a good day. All right, can we get- And he ugly as fuck. Oh, well, that not that easy to leave when you don't have nowhere to go or think that you would ever go through that. And see, that's why I'm saying, when I say these things, I am not talking about your situation. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about where I would be be with it. I'm sorry, I would have to find somewhere to go. I would, I would, <laughs> but see, I'm that type of person anyway. I'm always thinking of the solution, uh, the next resolution. I, I just can't be in a like, I don't have nowhere to go, so I'm gonna just keep, you know what I'm saying? And I know even with his kids involved, it's a lot. I can't sit there and just let a motherfucker beat on me. I really, that's just, and I am not talking to y'all personally about what you went through. Your story is your story. And you don't have to defend that either. I w I'm not in your shoes. I haven't been in your shoes. I know that I'm speaking from a place of just the shit that I'm just not, can't, no. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no disrespect to you. I just feel as though I'd rather deal with something else. I'd rather deal with figuring out how I'm going to, you know, get me a place or I'm going to have to start working something. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Get one more way. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, where's the baby at? Are y'all having date night? Where's the baby? She's so cute. She's at home. Like I said, people, at the end of the day, the kids, I, I man, can't, my baby can't help know, but it's hard to help somebody girl. in a dom domestic a violence relationship. It's just, it really has to be them wanting to leave and they've gotten that deep. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can show. There's nothing. And today have had enough and hopefully it's not too late. And that is why I say it all the time. Love, 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 love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, then nobody else can love you. I'm gonna say it until I, I can't get it, say Nisha. it anymore. All right. Well, she's back. And this time, if it happens, she probably won't come to social media. So keep her in her prayers. I hope she's safe. And it is what it is. If it ain't about me, ladies, run so you can be free. Next cake. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Kevin. Now, somebody said it reminds, Tiffany uh, said it, it reminds, um, it reminds you of Krishan and Blueface. What I love about Krishan is she gonna make sure he get fell. I mean, excuse me, she get fell. That nigga Blueface came in the house on whatever he was on and was deciding to put his hands on her. And she took that Hennessy bottle and slapped it clean across his noggin. By the end of the night, he was laying on her lap with an ice bag being very much so apologetic for what he just did. Uh, unfortunately, they decide to stay together. God forbid they actually take each other up out of here. But that's what I mean. Fight back. That's all I'm saying. Fight back. Fight back. That's all, y'all. You, you got the... Women, y'all have ch children. You bared a child. You carried a child for nine months. You had a child, went through labor for how, however many hours. Some did, some didn't, but still, you held that baby for nine months. Then after you had a baby, a lot of y'all taking care of them by your goddamn self, lifting groceries and the babies at the same time. Just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you could bear children... You think, uh, come on, y'all. Uh, come on now. Come on. This ain't messy. This is just us being messy. So Callie came out and she showed everybody, that, you know, she's pregnant, whatever the case may be. She's expecting a child. So congratulations to her. She looks so beautiful. She does. But we all want to know 
who the baby daddy? Cause I don't think we've seen her with nobody. Now all of us know she used to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? We like, oh, dude probably sliding down the wall like a woman in the movie who got cheated on by her husband and she in the shower just upset crying. I don't know. I actually think Duke is doing just fine. Duke, hey. So the girls were running around the curb. They was looking, trying to see who the fuck this girl baby daddy is. A child is supposed to be him. This um, this is an NFL player who worked for the who played for the Chiefs. He had some. She has a type. So I don't know, y'all get to dig and let me know if this is real. She like them chocolate, baby. That's gonna be a chocolate, baby. Yeah, because right now it's allegedly, so I don't know, but I mean, I can see it. All right, if it ain't about me, Cal, if it have a uh, baby. Yeah, somebody just told me it's a, um, it's a shysty. I appreciate you, friend. Next case. Next for the Chicago Ice Tea, we have Cash Doll and Trey T. Now, as y'all know, Cash Doll has had her second baby by him, whatever the case may be, and we thought that it was, you know, all lovey-dovey and doves in paradise, but it's not. So Cash Doll had did a post delete, and what it said was, single, and I don't give a fuck about y'all saying I have two kids about him, I'm just a baby mama, blah, blah, blah. I'm not okay. doing anything just to keep my family together. Now to me, when I saw that, that gave me, I'm mad at him, fuck you, you didn't want to answer to me, talk on the phone, reply to what I had to say. So you know what? Fuck you. We done. And you just acted out of emotions. That come on, grip ball. Gave me. It didn't give anything else like she was seriously done. It just gave me temper tantrum. And I love me some cash doll. But I know a temper tantrum when I see one. And, and I'm feeling it was an issue that they done discussed before and he ain't changed. DM me talking about keep your head up. <laughs> You think wrong with me, man? <laughs> I'm okay, man. Now, sir, if you these niggas is out here looking like man, what the f you think wrong with me, man? They four year old sons and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all, he looks twelve. Ah, oh, maybe because I'm old at this point. I don't <laughs> I'm okay, man. Now, sir, if you really want to be clear, you outside walking around in circles. Walking around in circles. You ain't good, baby. <laughs> You're not good. You didn't think she would take it to this extreme, so now you embarrassed. So that's why people tell you to keep your head up because what you're not gonna do is find somebody like Cash. Man, and I don't know why it's so hard for you men to show that you're not okay in a breakup. Like, because if you old? love somebody How and you had sexual relations with somebody and then somebody had your children, you obviously cared about this person. So to act like you just don't care is the reason why she posted what she posted on her Instagram story because you acting like you don't care. Stop trying to hide y'all feelings with people. Let the pride go. And if you fuck up in a relationship, just say I fucked up. That's like y'all men gotta stop thinking it's cool to have these broken homes. If the woman is knowing, knowing you want her back or you gonna want her back. Like it, it might be a woman out here that could change your life or, or uh, might be better than what you got at home. But what you're going to be chasing while in that process is just simply not better. <laughs> like, who the fuck got time for that? I knew these niggas be lonely, especially when these women just want your money. Please. Showing you that something is bothering her, fix it. And women, if the man is showing you that something is bothering him, Y'all too comfortable with these broken homes for me. So I guess people... Yeah, yeah. And normally it's problems between both of us because we both need something. We got to change something. He's absolutely correct on that. Talk about it in the blogs or even to her personally or in the comments under her pictures. And Cash comes out and she says this. I'm mad about my breakup more than me. Why y'all keep coming on here talking about y'all sorry for my breakup? Leave me alone. Now, Cash, I fuck with you, girl. But we wouldn't have known about the breakup if you wouldn't have brought it to us. Hello. Why you keep reacting to tea and, and, and you and other people business? Oh. So I just went up to them, took a gun out, was like, you better tell me all your business, bitch. And everybody just got to spilling tea. No, y'all just happily get to spilling your tea and then we talk about it. I'm going to talk about everything. Okay. So yes, we gonna have our opinions. Yes, Something we gonna voice it because that's what social I'm media. I'm talking about everything. 
Wait till my algorithm catch up with me. It's a wrap. It is, it is a place of just a big bowl of mess and drama and bullshit. And if you don't want the drama and bullshit, don't post it. What if I was lying? What if I was lying about what I post? What if I was lying and y'all just took it and ran with it? Because y'all are so happy to hear some bad news. And girl, don't try to go fix it and say, what if you was lying? Sis, if you gonna stay, friend, you gonna stay. Just to just say you was pissed. He made you mad and you reacted, friend. That's all. I feel like it's women. Y'all should just, we should put ourselves first anyway. And that ain't got nothing to do with just men. It's just period. We bring so much to the table. It's just. I want to do, do y'all, oh, can I ask them like, do y'all believe in God? Hello, Jesus Christ. I don't think a lot of y'all believe in God. That's why y'all move and be so fucking cruel to people. Y'all need to start believing in God. I shit, I don't disagree with that. It is some cruel, rude people out here, boy. But you you just can't bring your business on here. Go talk to them. Go sit down. Go go get on your knees and pray. Anyway, just stop having these people babies if y'all don't really want to be with these people. Just, why can't y'all just fuck and let it be that? Okay. I don't know. But anyway... I feel she's just a little embarrassed because she is a mother of two and now you're gonna be single. But um, I feel like it was just an argument. That's all it was. She reacted a certain way. They gonna end up fixing it. She's a Pisces. They be real bipolar, girl. They gonna be back together in three to five business days. She's just real mad about something. So let's just let it go and leave it alone. And it is what it is. But please, y'all, stop thinking that children are less than a marriage. A marriage, you can get married to somebody and not have children and just go get a divorce paper and y'all are gone. But when you have that baby, that is a commitment to that person for life. I don't give a damn. That is a commitment to the baby. I disagree. And you will only know when you got them. It is a commitment to the child. Now, in the beginning, when there are little babies, you got to deal with them. But then again, you don't, especially if you get the law involved, gang. Bring me my kids. Okay? You don't want to bring me my kids? George Washington told you to bring me my kids at this time. Do it or don't. You can get, um, what you call that? Mediators. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. If you move on 20 years later and your baby turn up in 18 and child support is done, you're still connected to that person for life. That is something serious. Y'all stop thinking. I don't know why people think marriage is That just having babies is just having babies. Even if you do want it just for you and you want a child, it's serious. A baby is serious. She had that baby seriously for herself. That's what she did. And you, it takes a man for you to do so, unfortunately. So what, when, some women are simply saying, I'd rather deal with my child because that's a blessing in it. With the divorce, it ain't. With the divorce, you get a nice ceremony. Like, why are we, why do people put marriage over the babies? I don't understand that. Like, I, this, out of this, I got a baby. I ain't have to go pay for one. I didn't have to go get no IVF, no, no, none of that. You brought me a baby. I gave you one too. Do what you're supposed to do or don't. Don't matter to me. I still got my baby. Okay? That's what I got out of the deal. You got a baby as well, but you do what you wish. You do what you will with that. A marriage, you get a ring. Uh, you got to pay for a high-ass ring to them. You got to pay for a high-ass ceremony. You got to pay for everybody to eat. Then... God forbid y'all divorce. You got to pay to get out of it. You got to have counseling to get out of it. I, th I That sound more than a child to me. And mm -mm. if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Next case. All right, you guys. That is all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. I know we're moving a little fast, but this week there really wasn't a lot of mess. It's just been a bunch of president debate stuff so i'm actually good because we could just move on through this okay let's go on and get into this mess first of the docket we have dove and Brittany. now as y'all know dove and Brittany have been separated they got a child okay, Brittany. Case <laughs> Brittany look good right now that old bitch? And now she must be working out too she look good right now 
Not saying she don't look good any other time. I've just never seen her like dressed up or in clothes for real, like dress clothes. As y'all know, Dove and Brittany have been separated. They got a child, whatever the case may be. Everybody thought they was just living their life single. Woo, woo, woo. Well, child, Dove had ended up going on a vacation to Powell with his family. And this video surfaced and everybody was like, wait a minute. So, friend, because you Tiffany said, yikes, people forget you can get more than a baby. STDs are real and some are still lifelong. I'm not talking about you going out here being a hoe. <laughs> what, I'm saying, friend. what I'm saying is you decided to mess with a guy. Y'all been talking to each other for a minute. Y'all are already having consensual sex and you end up getting pregnant. I would still rather deal with that and have my blessing for 18 years. Well, for, forever. It's not an 18 year thing, especially now. This is a for life thing. We have children. I'd rather have my blessing for life than to deal with that fucking marriage shit. Bro, it's a hassle. It's a lot for no reason. Literally. Everybody's excited about the ceremony part. That's it. <laughs> but I still get to have my baby. I got something out of the deal. If you make 10000 right now, you spend 8000 on food, and you have twenty uh 2000 left, and you ain't got shit to show for it, it makes a huge difference. And having a marriage and all you can talk about is that wedding you had versus you having a child and you still have that child. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about being a hoe. I'm not talking about you going out here just giving your coochie up and getting pregnant by everybody. That's not what I'm talking about. I just wanted to explain where I was coming from with that. What is going on? When this happened? When you get this girl? you know that now, Doug said he wasn't angry about the video surfacing. A bunch of couples here. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna be lonely by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be by myself, bro. I don't want to be like one of these old dads. I ain't trying to be like your dad that never recovered. I don't want to be like your uncle that never recovered. <laughs> Dub, Dub and DDG be so shady when they say what they got to say. Get the drinking in. <laughs> Because they missed a woman. No, bro, go move on. It's a million people in the world, bro. And you don't have to end things with somebody spiteful. So, uh, me and, and Brittany are fine, but just because something didn't work with somebody else, that do not mean lonely. Be lonely. Never going to choose to be lonely, bro. Um, at all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I have a lot to talk about, and I need to talk about that with somebody. But if you've seen the video, that video is old, like, I don't need, I, I look 20 in these videos. Like, if you see this picture, I look hella, hella young if you've seen it. I don't want to put light to it or if you've seen it. But that thing is because, is I feel like once you don't know something about, once you don't know anything about somebody, it makes the relationship better. Me, for example, I'm giving some people advice. If you like a girl and y'all kicking it, don't follow them on social media. This girl that y'all see on there, I have, I know I know none of her social medias. Cause I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is, is like, uh, that video is old. It's not like new. It's not like yesterday. It's not like- <laughs> I seen that, Dub, you never looked 20. I seen last that. Last month, not the other month. But like I said, I do have a when personal- When Dub said that, everybody was like, now Dub. Life. I do put y'all in my personal life, but I do have another life. But y'all don't know anything about our private life. And I think we don't keep it like that. And when it gets exposed, it's kind of better. Like I said, I'm not angry or anything. I'm not mad at anybody for exposing that. I'm enjoying my uh, Mexico trip. And I choose company over being alone, bro. I choose it any day. I choose it any day. A lot of people, y'all gonna have y'all opinions. And I want y'all to have y'all opinions. Um, one thing I do want to say is, before you make that opinion is, is that, me and Brittany are great friends, and me and Brittany are a partner, partners to a great, great kid. He knows that, she knows that. This is the prime example of what I was just talking about. They've been together for a very long time. They have a blessing, which is Woo Wop. Woo Wop brought them closer together, I feel like, because they got to help to take care of this nigga, okay? They got to make sure he's straight at all times. It is your duty to make sure them kids are straight at all times, okay? Prime example. And they're just fine. I know that. and But me and her still have to live our private lives. Now, if y'all end up getting, you know, 
she in a little private stuff, then it's cool. Now, child, a lot of folks is spooked because they like, okay, first of all, he never showed Britney this type of affection, this type of lovey-dovey bullshit that he showed this new girl, and they really upset with the mama and the sisters and them, whatever, because they like, girl, they really like Britney anyway. They was giving her hell and all that, but now y'all all over this girl. You know what I'm saying? They're like, what's he, what's going on? But they said that this new woman better watch out because they, you know, they was all in Britney phase too, but now they in your phase. But you know, when you date somebody, the family gonna like who you with regardless and not your ex. But they said they definitely like her. I don't know, don't get me to lie. Okay, well, child, Britney did a QA. and a People were asking her how <laughs> she feel about the video and this is what she had to say. Are you okay with Deb bringing around another female already or you actually don't care? I can't stop anything a grown man does. I can't stop anything any grown person does. Just like a grown person couldn't stop nothing that I do. So to answer the question, no. I don't care if Dejan brings around another female. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with her. These long niggas been together forever. I, I know they ready to find something different. As long as my son is getting treated right, we good. Once something go wrong with that little boy in there, we got a problem. Now, to me, you gotta remember, they were high school lovers. And you know, back in high school, you think this person might be the love of your life. And being in a monogamous relationship is tough. It's hard work and everybody can't do it. And some people do grow out of love. Or, you know, people are changing every day. We're becoming a new person. We're learning something new. Literally, we're, every day. We're learning new things that we do and don't like. And maybe they just grew out of loving each other. So. I don't think it was hard for me to come back in a relationship because I wasn't in love. I just was comfortable. I wasn't in love with Deja anymore. I was just, it was just the history basically that kept me from leaving and then me wanting my son to grow up in a two parent household, but- And the money. That's why it wasn't hard. And the money. So- Did you hear her say she wasn't in love? That's the answer. So it wasn't hard. It was just get out the house, if I was in the house, when we first broke up, if I was in the house, I was sitting thinking about it. I'm not even gonna purpose to y'all. But I just told myself like, just leave the house, leave the house, leave the house. So now that I'm able to sit in the house and I think about it, cool. And as y'all heard, Brittany said, it wasn't hard for her to leave and move on now because she wasn't in love anymore. When a person, clocks out and they're not there anymore you will just deal you're just comfortable because this is all you know all i know is you want to see something new be with you then it was time for them to go so let him be with somebody who he wants to do that with you know and like he said he don't like to be lonely so that new girl might want to watch out are you just being with me because you don't want to be by yourself sometimes people will be with you because they don't want to be lonely then they stop doing some of the things they were doing and now you gonna leave, so then he don't wanna be lonely again, then he gonna go to somebody else just because he don't wanna be lonely. Sometimes it's okay to be alone, to learn yourself, to figure out who you are. So now when you get in a relationship with somebody, you know how to do and adapt to things because you know how to be alone. So now you're not just depending on somebody to be there because you're lonely. Literally. Ah, you broken people. This why I be saying no, bro. It's no need for you to. They've been together forever, okay? They would know if they out of love with each other. I'd be surprised when people, you know, meet somebody in high school and they stay with them forever. First of all, you was my high school sweetheart. Do you see all these other grown people? I've never experienced nothing with. That's why men start cheating, especially with that high school sweetheart shit. Because they haven't been able to touch, uh, talk to, taste, nothing. <laughs> These new grown people that they're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. I think people just, you just got to be real, bro. Especially when you've been in a relationship for 10, 15 years. That's a long time. Well, clearly they ain't been in there that long, but maybe 10 for sure. If it was high school, he almost like 28 or something. Okay, homes and this is that. So you you heard me say taste. I slid that in there. Family that really love each other, who's been there for each other. Who's you wasn't supposed to catch it. Teach you how to fight and stay together. That's why it's good to have a mama and a dad and a home. Just two people who love each other. Just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Are just two loving people who love each other. <laughs> Yeah. 
If it ain't about me, let's kiki next game. Next on the docket, we have Jado versus Damari and Nunu. Now, as y'all know, Damari has been out of the scene for a minute, but he's now coming back into social media because there was a supporter that had saw him in Atlanta. He was roaming around. It looked like he may have had, you know, defecated himself or whatever the case may be. I don't know what it was, but it was something on the back of his pants and he was looking real discombobulated. And this is what it looked like. You okay, Damar? Yes, sir. Ain't you the influencer? Yes. What's wrong? I did not see the back of his pants. I really didn't. I done seen this video several times and not see the back of his pants. Life. Like, that's all. That's the thing. I look at on my own marriage. I trust myself sometimes. Like, I don't know what God and his prayers were. Just walk out of the door. Alright. Alright. Post it, I don't know, that's real fucked up on their part, but you know, that's how this world is. Cause that ain't a supporter. It is what it is. So then Jano goes up under and he responds to some black emojis. Now Jano, I ain't the one to gossip, but the girls in the curb said, now I don't even know why you laughing when you was in the shower. Oh. Y'all love me some Jano, but this is what they said. They said when you was in the shower, your drawers was on the floor and you had doodle streaks in your drawers. Now you wasn't even high and had doodle streaks, but he had he got doodle streaks. So why would you even be laughing at somebody with doodle streaks when you did? <laughs> Yo, stop. I don't know. So after they were saying all of stop. that, Nunu then saw Jano's coming and Nunu went up on it and said, I don't even know why you laughing at the situation because when you was in a vulnerable state of your life, you came to me and been about a lot of stuff and I know some things on you that you told me that I could tell some folks so you might want to watch yourself. And Nunu also said, Jano, I don't know why you trying to act like Damari is your op because he's not. He's just a man that broke your faith and you went to court, you ratted and things like that. So child, I don't know. What I'm getting is the way Damari was introduced to all this stuff is they had did shrooms and got them from Debo. Allegedly is what I'm hearing. Mm. This is a while back. And you know, y'all gotta understand there's different types of shrooms out there. You got psychedelic shrooms, you got all these other types of shrooms and maybe that boy was just high as fuck and you really weren't laced. You was just fucked up. Okay. It was Debo that introduced him to the drugs. Candy. It was Debo that introduced him to the candy. Debo didn't mean it in that way though. He was having some of it, and Damari wanted some. So Damari took seven to eight of them and said, oh, Strong's don't do nothing to me, I could do this. Da -da -da -da. I could do this, that, that, and the third, shaking it like a champ. They told him he needed to calm down. He said, no. I no, need that's why you have to microdose. Hell no. Listen, I have drug, well, we have drug positive friends, okay? Like, Y'all don't know my brother, but, you know, rest in peace. He passed away um, last year. But, you know, he was my drug positive friend. And I ended up meeting his brothers and things like that. Their family is drug positive in general. So when it comes to shrooms and whatever, they down to try or they do. And one thing I know about it is you got to microdose the shrooms. Got to do it. They they used to be on roofs on like roofs just high as hell off a of shroom, but never taken seven or eight of them. That's crazy. <laughs> you do nothing. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, cool. Damari started crazy. tweaking. Once he started tweaking, he ended up punching Trey in the lid. Ended up beating Trey up. In the midst of all of that, when he got on the train tracks and he started tweaking, Lena tried to help him. And guess what he did when the boys left out? Just guess. He strangled Benet. Who did? Damar? Y'all, soon as that nigga took them shrooms, I'm out. I'm out. Call me scary, call whatever. I don't give a damn. What you want to call me? If you normally take one, one and a half, even two, okay? 
But a nigga takes seven or eight. I'm out. I'm out of here. Oh, ask me to come back. Man, you a party pooper, man. You be getting... I don't care. As y'all calling me, talking about, bro, he tripped me. I'm going to be like, <clears throat> just let me know what happened tomorrow, man. <laughs> I'm asleep. You know, I'm going to holler at you. If I answer the phone. Okay? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> When I said, what? After the hell he just put that girl through. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, Crazy. he did. You really get laced in jail. Laced in jail? I, I got laced out of jail. You got laced somewhere and had something to do with jail. Yeah, and then I went to jail right after that. <laughs> That's the crazy part about it. Wait, so how did you get laced? Huh? How did you get laced? Uh, I was with my friends and shit, and then we just all ate some, and then I just got the wrong end of it, I guess. I ate too much. What was, what was, what? So that's what it is. You didn't get the wrong end of nothing. You ate too much. What did y'all eat? Mushrooms. And they, so, basically, somebody, like, whoever y'all got the sh from, it was laced. No, I don't think it was whoever I So, honey, I don't know what's going on. Y'all kids just need to stop trying to bottle up y'all's feelings and putting a band-aid on them with drugs and weed and alcohol and stuff like that because at the end of the day, the stuff is still going to be there. And these things cause anxiety and depression. Yes, what you have do. to do is face your problems head on and get through them, not trying to cover them. So this is a lot of, a lot of going on. This is a whole lot of side. I guess we're gonna have to see if um, Nunu gonna spin the block. Cause he did also say he gonna spin that block for um, Damari. Ooh, oh, so is Jano and Nunu gonna fight? It's too much going on. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep in this cave. Next to the duck cave, we have Corey and Maggie versus Corey. Now, we've been talking about this. Hopefully, it's starting to wind down, whatever the case may be. So, y'all know Corey ended up dropping him what was like a two-hour-long response to Corman's song, whatever the case may be. During the video, Corey really didn't tell us anything new. It's stuff we already knew. The most receipts he did have was the ones with Michi that we've already seen. Already you know what I'm saying? So, that was nothing new. Um, he never really addressed the situation about the abuse. He just said they were fighting each other. The other allegations that Carmen put on him, he never really addressed. He started, but then he had stopped and go something else. You sit here and you say, Boosie was living with y'all for a moment, but where's Boosie? Why Boosie ain't saying nothing? You know what I'm saying? It's always Boosie, the uncle, all of them. You have these receipts and these things, but we never see anything new. There was all these cameras in the house. Where's the footage from the cameras? You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's always something, but it's not everything from Corey. So, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's shit we've already seen and heard. So, Carmen drops her second half where she was sitting down with, I think, a person named Kat, whatever the case may be, um, discussing her immigration and everything else with lawyers and all this stuff that Corey was trying to hold over her head. What happened with the lawyer situation, girl? Because they keep on calling me, telling me your paperwork is ready and that you good to go, girl. No, nah, I talked to them already. They said I got proof. When we called that lawyer afterwards, what's going on with her paperwork? We sick of this being held over her head. Y'all got paid, blah, blah, blah. And they said that Corey wasn't responding to the emails. They would not proceed without him doing whatever, and he never would do it. So that was the whole process of your paperwork. Because people think when you're married, you're already considered like it illegally here. But there's a process you have to go through. We called the lawyer and was like, hey, do she need to hide out? Hey, do she need to uh, do she need to take the baby somewhere? Hey, and the lawyer said, no, she don't need to do all of that. She good. She yeah. can legally be here because she's in the process. I don't know, you guys. We gonna see what happens. Hopefully this works out for her. So now that this won't be held over her head, um, and then Maddie comes out and Maddie wants to sit here and she says this. You know, you know that me getting out the car open door for you is so extra. You can open the door to get out. Now I can open it for you when you get in. Anywho. <laughs> I do believe that you teach a man how to treat you. The reason why I say that is because different men come from different backgrounds, for one. But two, 
different men deal, deal with different type of women. They don't make another woman less than the other, but different women require different shit. In his past, according to him, he's not used to having to do certain things that I require of him. And that's what I mean by like, if I was raised a certain way... I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of her. Okay. Is required to do because that's the standard that I set. Maddie... That's great. Y'all have known each other for how long? And y'all already getting tattoos? Two days. Tattoos of each other. This already seems like it's not going to move right. I mean, I don't know. And then you say your daddy taught you all this stuff, but everything you doing right now is opposite of what your daddy taught you. I know her daddy didn't teach her to get no goddamn tattoo with no nigga name on it. And they only been together. What? Hey, at, at all. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're getting a tattoo, don't even know the man. They said that allegedly you might be pregnant. Hopefully this man ain't moved in with you. Because why are you moving in this man? But shouldn't you be moving in with the man? Or just something coming at it together as a team? I don't know. Girl, it just seems like you're doing damage control for Corey. Like, I see, see all the videos, you know, you showing him cooking for you. He's opening the door. Are you trying to rebrand him to make the people see like, oh, maybe you are the woman that's going to change him as a man? Girl, nah, I don't care what nobody said. You can't change a man. A man going to change when he want to change. He just sat there and told you, you could have opened the door yourself and he, he was giggling and smiling. And it's going to be at some point where he like, I don't feel like opening this door. Because he don't take it seriously. It, it's not as serious to him as it is to you. And I mean at all. So stop wasting your time. But you still that. Well, fuck that. That's what she want to do. That's what she want to do. Let me hush. All right. Y'all tell me what you think. What you feel. Let her do what it is that she wants to do. In the comments. If it ain't about me, let's get kids. Okay? Next one, okay? We have Lisa and Quan. Now, last week, this took everybody by surprise because Quan ended up going on social media saying he was done. He put on his dead sister and everybody was like, oh, he put on his sister. We know he's serious because he ain't never done that. And just all this other stuff, right? Then he was seen at his mama house eating there. She was seen at the airport going back home with the children by herself. Ooh, 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 yada, yada, yada. Fast forward. Now that I made a video, they sitting down together and they had a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of it say. I mean, I decided to take it to social media and uh, say something. And I had posted that I'm single for life. And, and um, even though I meant it. Put it on my sister. Um, may God rest my sister's soul. Anyone that knows me, Rissa knows that when I said what I said, I meant it mm -hmm. with everything in me. Like. Like, I meant that to the core. Like, he still means it. He don't want her. I think he wanted her to the point where she didn't want him. I'm not going to lie. Like, if we looked at body language, I feel as though he... And this, this ain't even alleged. This is an opinion. I feel like he's way more into the relationship than her. Um... But the problem is nobody wants to lose that lifestyle. Nobody want to lose the lifestyle, y'all. It is what it is. It's a it's a nice lifestyle. Nobody wants to lose it. You got kids growing up in it. You got to revamp your life, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But his body language is telling me something totally different from hers. I meant what I said, and that's why I said it. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. Um. But it was just a huge mistake with me uh, bringing it to social media. That was not something that Quan ever said because he was looking for attention or like this was not something that happened or we did for attention or clout or followers and things of that sort because, you know, like you were saying earlier, there is a lot of people that go to social media with these things and they have these fake storylines and all this type of stuff like Quan would never ever in a million years say something like that unless he felt strongly about it yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah. you said this was a serious situation this was not something for like play this was not like a joke this was not nothing like that this is some real life shit that we're going through together and that's how he felt in the moment and that's why he said that yeah um Quan's obviously not the only person that has to apologize for all this stuff that happened on social media i also have to 
you know, send out an apology in the first place because of all that's happening in the first place, obviously, like, that's the main reason why we're even able to sit right here. Um, obviously, I had some apologizing to do to Kwan, and he accepted my apology, and that's why we're even able to sit right He's here, so but also to you guys, ever. because... Um, right. Just because yeah, in the moment when everything was happening, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of people were having assumptions and stuff like that. And, you know, I ended up responding to someone on Twitter and like telling you guys basically or this person. Definitely giving force. To mind their business. And that wasn't right of me. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you guys are confused. You guys left out of Luke Kwan. I hadn't spoke about anything yet. Um, so that wasn't right of me to be telling you guys, you know, to mind your business or for me to even have the audacity to be coming off like that when this happened because of something that I lacked and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, mm. I had no place to be even doing that. I should have never said anything on social media at all. Like, or whatever. Like, a lot yeah, of them so. were wondering, like, oh, did we actually break up? Like, can we please let them know, like, what's going on? Because you guys had no uh, idea. So, I posted that. That's how I felt. Um, I meant it. Mm -mm. But... In reality, at that time, I had Rissa blocked. No communications. I didn't like. We, we, were we weren't in the yeah. We weren't in the right space to even be around each other. Right. So when I posted that, I meant that, you know. But I really yeah. Just this this video. He said it three times. Realistically, I didn't. You didn't communicate. Have yeah, we didn't have a now. Here's my problem with this situation right here. She she said it for him. Nigga, we can't break up if you ain't have a conversation with me first. Y'all, is that valid to y'all? I got to have a conversation with you for us to break up. That man is stuck, okay? Not that she got a gun up to his head again, you know, holding him against his will or nothing. But it's just like... How dare you break up with me and you didn't even call me first. <laughs> I said I'm done. And I meant it. And he's still meaning it. He, he ain't with this. He don't want this. He ain't feeling this. It is so obvious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But her face gives me, nigga, you ain't going nowhere until we talk. And I said no. I said no. We're not breaking up. So no. You can't leave. You can't go anywhere. Because we didn't talk about it. And I don't agree. Conversation. So to break up, you have to have a conversation. There has to be some type of agreement so you have to be in agreement style. you don't have this to agree to shit if you don't want to be with a person you just don't want to be with a person it is um it is nice to tell them y'all remember when flight broke up with ty on, on uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> flight dropped a video with about ty <laughs> i think it was like I'm done. We broke up. We ain't together. Whatever he said. Girl, Ty came back with a video like, to be honest, this is news to me. I didn't even know that we broke up. Girl, he done broke up with her on YouTube. Didn't give no explanation. No <laughs> fuck yous, goodbye, I miss yous, or nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, I didn't like the way she did that. I don't want to be with her no more. I'm telling y'all first. She'll find out. <laughs> Great. This is what we're gonna do. Um, there was no conversation. Instead, I I did react immaturely and just you know just said that. Mm -hmm. Although I meant it. I that's that's his fourth time in this particular slide. Should have you know, but I was just not <laughs> in the space to even you know talk to her. So, mm -hmm. um, so technically. No, we didn't break up, but um, I wasn't joking when I said what I said. Exactly. People were trying to say that. That's the like sixth time. 
kids weren't my kids. Like somebody tried to say that yeah, like, Xavier wasn't my kid. They're so. saying I slept with someone else and I got pregnant by someone else. They were mostly saying like, oh, the last one isn't yours and stuff like it's that. False. False. No. I'm not even gonna get into that. That's just complete nonsense. Yeah, that's so just that's crazy. false. Saying that I, I slept with another man. That I, you went through my phone and you saw me talking to another man or something like that. Just uh, all that. That's, I, I'm gonna tell you how this. That's false. And if it was that, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Like, if that didn't happen, why is it so serious? Like, what happened? Maybe, you know, clearly the babies are his, right? Because that's a hell of a, like, accusation. The babies ain't his. Like, that's a hell of an accusation. So I'm with them on that, right? It's the rest of the stuff that I have a problem with. What happened? That's all we want to know. Trust and believe that. So, um, that's not true. It's not true. We decided that we're not going to share what happened. That there's no point of sharing what happened. Because that shit petty as hell. Let's see if we're going to decide to move forward. Yeah, we still have to keep 111 in the chat. Some type um, of privacy. We understand it, it went to social media, so we do yeah, have explaining to it. But we were already kind of screwed up with bringing it to social media. Well, place, yeah. I mean, me bringing it to social media in the first place. Because with me or us not really saying anything or saying what happened, um, look at all that transpired uh, with the rumors and people making things up. Again, I'm not saying anybody's wrong for doing that. I take, I take accountability for that. Um, it was wrong to even bring it to social media, but just seeing how that went, I could imagine if, like, if we share More, what happened, yeah, yeah, exactly. we'll, it'll just be worse. You know what I'm saying? It'll just make matters worse. So we we'll, we decided to keep that private. We're, the reason why we're even able to sit right here is because I had to take accountability for something. I had to apologize to Quan. He had to accept my apology, and that's why we're even sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Like we said, we're gonna keep some as much privacy as we can at this point, like to not share exactly details. But I just want you to know that it wasn't something that like. It was three 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 in the chat. A serious situation and how he reacted was valid because those were his feelings and he was upset. He felt disrespected and two 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 in the chat. You know, it's something that I need to moving forward. You know, work on things with myself as well and be sincere with everything that I'm saying and just show him, you know, that I'm sorry. Like we said, we're gonna be working on things and. I mean, it's gonna take some time. Yeah, we might don't need some time. Yeah, we might need some time to, you know, just get back to ourselves. But mm -hmm. once we get to that point, of course, we wanna get back to posting and just being our authentic selves and right. you know, promote positivity and just being happy. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, sharing our lives with y'all and making y'all happy also. Um, yeah, you guys know how much Quan and I love each other. Like, I love you. Love you too. So much. And Exactly. Yeah, that was terrible. I don't know, I love each other. Like, I love you. Love you too. So much. And you guys see that, like... She's not sincere, y'all. I love you. Love you too. So much. I love you. Love you too. I love you. There's no passion there. She doesn't have passion. You guys know how much Quan and I love each other. Like I love, I love you. you. Love you too. So much. And that was so fake. See that? Like it was never fake. It was never something like oh, we so were just doing this. You know what I'm saying? And he um, know we it. Always just sharing our genuine. He want to say so, it so bad. Yeah, that's just what we love want you too. to do moving forward as well. Once things, you know, once we're in a better place and all that stuff, like Quan was saying. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Now I don't know about y'all, but. Me seeing that, you know, it, it kind of pulled me a little ways when I thought I was like, oh, girl, this was all just for show. But when I sit down and I really get into it, I don't think she cheated physically. 
But what I do feel is that he caught her entertaining so, a guy. So. That's what I feel. That's so. why it's so simple for him. Let me ask y'all a question because I was trying not to ask the question, but I'm just going to ask the question. Do y'all think he coming up a little short? Do y'all think he is given a censure? Or La Cruz? It's a huge difference. Y'all, which which one y'all you thinking? A censure or La Cruz? I need to know. The can't mmm in between. Mmm, definitely not a censure. I absolutely think it's giving can. Okay. You know, great guy. You know what I'm saying? Nice looking brother, too. Got the abs going. Everything like that. But, uh, you know, the other day I bought a, a, a little Jimmy Choo man cologne. I didn't buy the big one. He just don't give me big daddy. You know what I'm saying? He don't give me big papa. You know what I'm saying? He just, you know, I could either drink out of this shot glass or this red cup. You get what I'm saying? And I just think it's giving a shot glass. You feel what I'm saying? So that's. What I was asking y'all. Okay. <laughs> yes, this smell, this Jimmy Choo. Oh my God, girl. She sold my ass. Now she taxed me for that little ass bottle, but we ain't gonna talk about it. Um, or did she? Let me look it up. Let me look it up right quick. How much is the 30 million Jimmy Choo man? Oh, meh, meh, meh. Okay. She didn't tax me. She didn't tax me. Okay. All right, not simple, but easy enough mm. for him to sit back down with her, Ooh, discuss she it, and say, let's work on it. At Walmart, that motherfucker, $21. Okay, but this one. Y'all, I'm sorry. I, hold on. Give me a second. Jimmy Choo, man. Jimmy Choo. I've been on my uh, saving my money stuff, and, and I spent an excess of $35. Uh, but this one, $44. Why? I think she have might have got. Ooh, and it's the one point seven. You know, in for somebody so long, you get comfortable, and then somebody can inch their way in and start talking to you, and you. I got some vibes. Feel fresh and new again, like ooh, this person's talking to me. Ooh, ooh, I got to and then you end up getting caught. So I think he caught her entertaining somebody because they don't want to talk about it. Because I don't think he wants to ruin her image. And people don't want to say, oh, you dealing with that shit, do it again. So they're keeping it private to protect their relationship so they can work on it and not let outside opinions make them choose what they want to do with each other. So that's why he got mad, came on social media, said what he said. Oh, you can do this for somebody. You can do that. You can love them like this, but they don't love you. Because I'm telling you, like he said in that video, if she would have cheated <coughs> physically... Uh -huh. He would not be sitting right there. But I think she was entertaining somebody. Yeah. And by her entertaining somebody, he's like, damn, I'm giving you all this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And that's not enough that you have to go entertain somebody else. He's doing everything but coming up a censure. You know? That's what I think happened. And that's why it's easy enough for him to say, you know what? Well, let's work on this. Let's work on us. It's going to take time because now he has to build the trust back, the loyalty, 
you know, can I actually deal with this? Can I really forgive her? Cause yeah. And if you look at her, she's good. She's like, yeah, we gotta do this, you know. Um, he should be the only one that had to apologize because he went, you know, um, public with this. But I had to apologize for my things too. And that's why she, I feel he was like, well, nah, you know you fucked up. Why you telling people start our business on the internet, fussing at fans and stuff when, bitch, you really fucked up. So you can't tell folks to out your business because you fucked up. How can you say shit? You know what I'm saying? You fucked up. Don't make it like you was this good person. I'm just overreacting for nothing. You gave okay. me a reason to react, and that's why I reacted. Period. You you, you should have just stayed the fuck quiet and let me be mad and let the people say what they saying because you fucked up. I think he really don't want to be there. I think she just really cried. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it again. Please forgive me. I, oh. And because he genuinely does love Wait, her. Wait, what happened? The bathroom pick in particular. Wait. He Those latest pics Quan posted was not given can in the last. Okay, let me go look right He's quick. taking her back. On Instagram, friend? But I feel when people do that. So oh, so he's Jamaican? Never mind. Soon, you're doing it because you you knew you really still love that person. But is it what you Where was the pictures posted at? I need this in the video. Really want to do it. I think they should've I think they should have stayed separate for a second. Just, you know, just to breathe, maybe like a week or two, and then come and have this conversation. Because then once all this settles, is your trust still gonna be there? You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna be walking around saying, What's she doing? What is this? What is that? Oh my god, I did that. I don't know. I wish them well. I hope it works the way they want it to work. I'm glad they were mature enough to, you know, try to work Listen, on it. Because that's what relationships are. He's Jamaican, never mind. Are working on things. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Where? What is his Instagram particularly? What y'all think in the comments? Say what you Snapchat. Think, Damn. What you think happened? Woo, woo, woo. Yada, yada, yada. Can y'all send the link right quick? It is what it is. If it ain't about me, then let's keep it. Okay. All right, you guys, that is all I have for the Messy Monday. Like I always say, send me the message. Oh, not all Jamaicans are okay. Send it, send it, send it. Put it in order. Say, this is what happened. This is what's going on. This is who said this. This is what said that. Put me all the information together because maybe I don't go looking for it. Okay. Um, I love you guys. Like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, stay messy. And I will see you next Monday. Next game. What is his... um? What is his Snapchat? Come on, y'all, hurry up. Send the link. I want to show my video, but I don't want my video to be an hour and 20 minutes. Q U, okay. Q U dot U A N N. How do you search on this motherfucker? Oh my God, girl. Why y'all can't send me a link? Why aren't y'all hip to links? Okay, I found it. Shit. But it just let me add him as a friend, but I can't go to his page. Why? Oh, girl, that's annoying. Y'all oh, old. <laughs> Shut up. How? Girl, I'm about to get pissed the hell off. Cause I really want to find it. And then did it happen today? So you just let me search them and then that's it. I sent the link to his IG. I know Ugh, where you sent it at.
Y'all, we just being nosy. Because I said he was he might be Sprite Cannon. But then y'all told me he was Jamaican, and then it kind of changed my mind. And then y'all want me to go to his Snapchat, and I can't find it. Thank you. Okay. That breakfast looked real good. Where do you think we're heading? Who knows? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Yes, food. Oh, that look good. Oxtails. Okay. I sent you a pic in your DM. Hold on. Let me go through this. Maybe I'll find it. Oh, my God. It's not there. <laughs> All right. Let me check the DMs and I'm fucking done. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I take, I take it back. <laughs> I'm taking everything I said back. <laughs> Never mind. He silly me. Okay. <laughs> he got the essential. <laughs> He got the essential. If that's the case, then what is the problem? <laughs> y'all, I know dick don't just solve everything. You know what I'm saying? In, in y'all uh, hetero relationships. But I'm just trying to figure out. We got the bread. We're both attractive. We have beautiful children. You know, and don't get me wrong. Clearly, I'm in a relationship. Shit does happen. But what's happening? What's wrong? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, he, uh, nope. He ain't coming up short at all. Not even at all. Y'all, niggas' arms are really long. Have y'all noticed that? <laughs> Don't know how to use it. Could be that, but. <sighs> all right. Now the video, uh, an hour and 17 minutes. I just really wanted to get to that part <laughs> because I'm like, is he coming up short? What's the problem? Okay. But that absolutely was not the case. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into the next video. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. You dig what I'm saying? Love you. I appreciate y'all. Hey.